Hi, I'm Devin Stewart from the Carnegie Council. For nearly 100 years, the Council has been the voice for ethics in international affairs. This month, we ask you to please give to our annual Fund Five to support videos like this and other programs at the Council. Thank you for your support. The start of World War II. The Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. They were convinced that the United States was such a pacifist, isolationist nation that once we, they struck it, our fleet and decimated it at Pearl Harbor, we would not last for more than six months in the war. Admiral Yamamoto, who designed the attack on Pearl Harbor, said if the Americans fight for more than six months, we'll lose the war. But it was his hope and the hope of the Japanese leadership that we would give up before then. Adolf Hitler declared war on the United States. We didn't declare war on him. He declared war on us four days after Pearl Harbor, December 11th, 1941. And Hitler's assumption, again, was that the United States was a bastard society made up of Jews and Catholics, Germans and, and, and French and uh, Poles and Hungarians and Russians and uh, uh, blacks and Hispanics, and it couldn't possibly be the equal of the Ubermensch of the master race in Germany. This terrible miscalculation on his part as well. We made a terrible error in judgment also at the start of the war. We thought the fleet in Pearl Harbor would be a great deterrent. The Japanese wouldn't attack because the fleet was there to deter, it, uh, to deter them. In fact, the Japanese saw it as a target. Now, the great German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche said that convictions are greater enemies of the truth than lies, see. And this is what we're talking about. People enter into these convictions, these assumptions, these beliefs that so lead them astray. And they're not open to being educated, so to speak, or informed or to thinking outside the box in different ways that might lead them toward a wiser judgment. Thank you.